What if you can build your entire online course, community, and even your checkout system all inside one platform without paying for five different other tools? In this video, I'll show you exactly how to create and launch your course inside high level step by step. We covered this topic around two years ago, Keaton doing it with his baby. I don't have a baby with me, but I will try my best to make it just as good and more up to date. Let's dive in. The reason high level is such a game changer for online courses is that it doesn't just give you online course hosting like Kajabi or Teachable, but it bundles everything into one platform. All course platforms are kind of serving the same product, but with slight changes to make it unique. So I will strictly speak on the price point for this instance. You get courses, communities, client management, funnels, emails, SMSs, and automations all under one roof. With competitors, you pay $100 to $300 per month just for the course software alone. And then you still need to buy separate tools for marketing and automation. But with high level, that's all included in the price. Plus, you can have unlimited of those features under the same plan. So you're saving money, simplifying your tech stack, which will help you grow your education business much quicker. All right, let's jump into an account. So inside your high level sub account, if you come down to memberships, this is the main area where we'll be able to build courses, the communities, link the two as well as building products that you can then offer inside your communities just to quickly give you an overview of this whole section over here when you just come into memberships you'll be inside the client portal so currently we're inside the dashboard this is the place where you can manage your client portal activities you'll find the link to your client portal over here see how many users you have how many people you've invited and if you scroll down you'll see some actions as well I like the place to generate a magic link where you can send it to a specific contact and then when you click on generate a unique link will be generated that that contact can click on and if they don't you can see at the bottom here after 14 minutes the link will then expire Buyer. Then at the top here, we have courses. Inside courses, you'll see we have a whole bunch of different options here, like products, offers, analytics, and settings. But pretty much, this is the overview for your courses, where you can see a couple stats. And in a moment, I'll show you how to create one. Then next to courses, we have communities, which is the same thing, a little overview of all the groups that you have. So in this case, Keaton has the affiliate community and the Dominators Guild. In this video, I'll also create one from scratch. So I'll do that in just a moment. Then at the top here, we have credentials. This is a feature where you can give certificates and badges to your audience for completing a certain action. So let's say you have a course with many lessons in it. You can give your customer a badge or a certificate for completing a certain amount of actions, like finishing a couple of lessons. It's just a better way to incentivize them to keep going and finish the course. And then in the top right corner, we have GoCollab Marketplace. This is a marketplace where you can take your course and community and pretty much share it with the world. So if I click on this link over here, you can see people can discover and connect with a whole bunch of different communities, different people, different courses. So pretty much it's the community where you can host your products or your community. You can see there's a Tony Robbins one over here, and it's just a nice place where people can discover you for free. You can choose at the bottom here by clicking this tick if you want the community to shop in that platform. Okay, so that's the overview set of the membership area. Now we're going to do a walkthrough example. The example we're going to do is firstly create a course, create a community, and then we're going to add that course to the community. So it's going to be a three step simple process. Okay, so first thing is to create the course. So again, when you're in the membership section, you're going to come up to courses and then come down to products. You can see uh, Keaton has already created many courses over here. If you want access to them, I'll leave a link down below that gives you access to over $8,000 worth of bonuses and courses to help get you set up and on your way much quicker. But for this demo, I'm going to create one from scratch. So click on create product, start from scratch, and you can choose four different options here. These are just different types of course styles that come as almost like a pre-built course where you can just add your information into. But if you want to start from scratch, you just click on build your own. For this video, I'm going to click on sprint course, give it a name, and then click on create product. And there we go. In just a second, a template has now been produced for your new course. So like I said, this is almost like a template that you can model your course after. So most of the stuff is already created for you. But just to show you how it works, this is the product structure over here. So these are your individual lessons where on the right hand side, you can click on view or edit them individually. And then on the right hand side, you can choose to publish it or to draft it. So to create one from scratch you can click this little plus button over here choose what you want to add in this case i'm going to add a lesson title the lesson click on save and you'll see first real lesson has just been created and you click on it you can simply change the title add it to a course category and then give it a description at the top here is where you can add your media so if you have a course that has videos for instance then you can just upload that video right here or if it's an audio course then you can upload the audio here then on the bottom right hand side here you can add the thumbnail to that lesson so if you want a nice picture to show up just click on upload image and then if you have any attached files that you want to add to that specific lesson you click on this add files button and then once you're happy click on save in the top right corner i'm going to click on back here so you can just repeat that process for all the different lessons that you want feel free to use these ones as well but if you want to delete them just come over to the right hand side here click on publish and then come down to delete and you click on that click on okay and it will disappear but if you want to edit the pre-existing one just again click on it and then you can change the wording that they've automatically put in here and also upload media or your thumbnail and then make sure you click on save in the top right corner so that's the outline of the course structure if you want to edit the details then come up to details in the top left corner this is where you can change the details of the course so if you want to change the name if you want to add a description or if you want to add the thumbnail for the course, not the individual lesson, but the whole course. 
then you do that right here. And then if you scroll down further, you have more customization options like adding information for the instructor or the course host, giving it a name, giving them a picture, a title, a bio, adding a logo image, adding a fab icon, and then you click on save in the bottom right corner when you're done. If I scroll back up, next to that we have customize where we can choose the theme of the portal. The portal is the place where the customer logs into to then access your course in your community. So you can click on the default theme here, or you can choose to browse through system templates. You'll see a couple options over here. If you want to preview it, click on the I button and it will show you a preview of what that theme looks like. So this is the preview for Ben's non-fake course and then the different lessons that we added. For now, I'm going to stay on the classic theme and then move over to offers. So let's say you want to make this course as an offer, meaning that you want to charge for this course. What you'll do is come up to offers, click on new offer. When you do that, you'll see in the top left corner, if you hover over this, it will take you down to the offers section. So that's another way to get to it. Or you can just click that button I just showed you. Here we're going to select the product that we want to make the offer for. In this case, it's Ben's non-fake course. Give the offer a title and then select if you want it to be a free product, a recurring product, or just a one-time fee for that product. I'm going to say one time select the amount, and then I'm going to click on create. Now you can add some details for the specific product or for that offer, but when you're happy, click on publish mode, then click on save. And now the offer has been updated. So if we come back to our courses and then product, click on the product we created, click on the course that we created, and then come over to offers. You will now see that that offer has been attached to this course. Next to that, we have comments, where we can see if people have left comments for the specific lessons. You can choose on the right-hand side here to enable comments or disable them or hide them. Okay, now coming back to product, if we come over all the way to the right to credentials, you can see in the top right corner, we can click on attach credential. This will pretty much be the same action as if you're going to the credentials area over here. Now we're going to attach the credentials to this course or to this product. So in this case, since we selected a template, it came with a pre-built course complete credential. If I click on the three dots on the right hand side here and click on preview, you'll see the certificate has already been added and you can only add one credential per product. So you'll see here it says contact name. Your contact's name will automatically populate in this custom value and then will be given to them once they complete the course or complete a section and so on. So coming back, that is a quick rundown on how to create a course. Again, the main section is in the outline section where you're adding all your media and all your course content. So we created a course. Now we want to build a community. The community is the place where we can host the course where people can interact and have conversations, ask questions, get help, and again, view all your other courses if you have multiple. So to do that, you're going to come up to communities, click on groups, and then we're going to come down and click on create group. All you have to do is give it a group name, give it a brief description. And then down here is where you can toggle it on if you want the community to be discovered in the go collab section. So if you don't want that and you want to keep it completely private, then just toggle this button off. Then we can add some branding like your fab icon, a cover image and a logo, and then click on create group. Once you click on create, your group will automatically be populated over here. Since we already have one created with data already inside of it, I'll just show you what a complete community looks like. So when you create it, it will look like this. If you've added your images, it will show up with the name and if you've just created one it will say zero members who the owner is and if the status is active you can click on it to make it inactive but if you want to now log into your community you just click on the login button and you'll be taken straight into the community if you're logging in for the first time you might need to put in your information but it's just the name and the password and click on enter then it will take you over here on the left hand side here we can add channels right now we have a home channel and a general channel and if you have multiple groups and you're the admin then you can also jump between your groups by just clicking on them over here before i show you the insides of the community if you click on this home button in the top left corner you'll see it takes you to like the main dashboard of the course of the community as well as a place where you can check out affiliate earnings so you'll see things like recently opened our course progress and if we have any contracts that we have to sign but if i want to jump back into the group i'm going to click on this over here and it'll take us straight back to the group and they've added a lot compared to the first version in the top over here this is where we can create a post so just click on it give it a title type what you want then you can add gifts or images videos any links attachments emojis or to tag a channel then when you click on publish the post will look like this where people in your community can view it when they click on it they'll see more details and they can comment on that specific post. So this is fairly simple. On the right hand side here, if you are the admin, you have the ability to invite members as well as click on settings where you can change the details or make it private or public. And then if you want to add a subscription to this community or charge for it, you can come up to subscriptions and then you can add a price. Right now it's free. And on the left hand side here, we have more customization options like the branding, the themes. If you want to add any membership questions to pre-qualify them before accepting them or not accepting them into the group, then you can add those questions over here. And then again, make sure you click on save. Then in the top right corner here, we have the ability to switch light mode on and obviously toggle between dark mode as well. Then next to that, we have these nine dots, which is pretty much that home button on the left hand side where it can take you specifically to the communities or to the courses or to check out your affiliate earnings. Next to that, we have the notification bell where you can see notifications related to your profile. And next to that we have your profile where you can manage your account change your pictures change your name or log out and below that we have a chat button this is a fairly new feature where we can now send direct messages to other participants in the different groups so if i wanted to send a direct message to keaton i can just search the member in this case i've already messaged him and i can type a message add attachments and then click on send that will now send him a direct message inside the platform and what's great is that he can also have the mobile app downloaded on his phone and if i send him a direct message just like whatsapp or instagram he will then get that notification on his phone if you want that app it is just called 
would go collab in the Google Play Store or in the App Store. To find more details about the app, just come back to your account and then inside the client portal, go to dashboard, you'll see this big banner that says your brand, your app. If you want to download it, click on this button and it will give you more information and have links to take you directly to the stores. You can download this app as well as all the members of your community. And the Go Collab app is the gray labeled version of the high level app. So the only branding there is, is Go Collab. If you want your own custom app, then just click on get started here where you can then create your app without any code needed. Okay, so coming back to memberships, we've created a course, we've created a community, and now we want to attach that course to that community so that the members inside the group can view it or pay for it or just access it. So to do that, we're going to come back to the community and if you come up to learning in the top left corner here this is where we can click on add course let me just minimize this you can see uh, these are the ones that are currently being offered in Keaton's community but if I wanted to add my course I'll just click on add course button select the course I want to add which is Ben's non-fake course and then select the visibility if I wanted to show to all members two specific members that have unlocked a specific tier the ability to buy the course now or a time unlock or to offer it to members in a specific private channel so if I want to charge for it I'm going to click on buy now select the price and then click on add course once you do that it will then be added over here what it will look like for your audience when they see their course here they can just click on it and it will take them to the course itself again these are the lessons that we created earlier it's obviously different for this course but all they have to do is click on it choose their specific lesson and then they'll be able to watch the content mark it as complete and then move on to the next course so that's how you add a course and just to show you a bit more what's inside the community if you click on the events button up here, this is where you can see a calendar of all the upcoming events. Let's say you have an affiliate call or a tech support call. You can just add an event in the top right corner. It works just like a calendar where you can give it a title, change the color, start time, add the location if it's online. You just update the payment details. Then it will show up on the date that you have set. Then moving on to the leaderboard. This is where you can see what level you're on as well as seeing what level all the other members are on. Then if you come up to members, this just shows who's inside the group. If you're the admin, you have the ability to approve or disapprove the people who have requested to join the community. You can do that right over here here and then in the top right corner we have the about which just gives you an overview of this community like the about section and then a few more details great so that's how you create a course inside of high level we created a course create a community and then added that course to that community if you're ready to try high level out for yourself and start building your own courses and communities i've dropped a free 30-day trial link down below that way you can test everything for yourself test everything we just covered and set up your first course and community and see if it's the right fit for you my name is ben and thank you for watching